Hello, hello, I'm Zach, and today I'm going to walk you through AI workflows. I already have an AI workbook open here for movie review sentiment analysis. Um, I created a cell, I've already pasted my movie review. I have a very simple system prompt, as you can see, uh, just to get me the desired output. In this case, I'm looking for a negative or a positive uh, label. I ran the cell and I've gotten my output, but you can imagine that if I'm doing sentiment analysis on movie reviews, I probably have hundreds or thousands of them, and I don't want to go through this uh, by copying and pasting into a cell and running it uh, manually. So instead, I'm gonna utilize two features from Last Mile AI. The first one is the AI workbook global parameter. Um, and this enables me to insert your variables into these cells. Uh, the other thing is the AI workflow. So I went ahead and I've created a global parameter called review. Um, so now that I have this global parameter, I can delete the movie review here. I will just insert the global parameter using curly brackets. Uh, and one thing to note here, uh, in order for me to run a successful AI workflow, I need to include a CSV file with a column that matches the name of the global parameter. So in this case, I'm only using uh, one global parameter, but there could be use cases where you have 10 or 20 of these. All you need to do is make sure that your CSV file has 10 or 20 uh, columns with matching names uh, with your global parameters. Um, now that we have this, we can move on to the next step, which is run the workflow in Bash, pick the CSV option and upload our CSV. Now we can run the batch. Great, the workflow is initiated. We can navigate now to the workflow page where we can monitor the state of the workflow. Amazing, it already completed. Uh, now we have all of these uh, workflow runs uh, for the movie reviews. We can take a look at them individually or we can download the results uh, in a CSV format to see exactly what uh, the output looks like for each movie review or any other use case. Thank you.